Hi, I'm Laurie. Here's something pretty interesting. It's a little fire engine and it's radio controlled. It's got an aerial there. This is the transmitter unit. And the reason I got it is it's pretty close really to double O scale. And I thought, hmm, I wonder if I could have a radio control vehicle moving around on my layout. Now, Piddlewick Yard hasn't actually got much room at all, but for a larger layout, this could be quite good. It does need gearing down low in speed because it is very, very fast, which I suspected when I got it in the shop. I asked the guy and he said, yeah, it's quick. Thing is though, it takes two or three minutes to charge up and it runs for five or six. There's a little on-off switch on the underneath and then, and then you run it and you steer it. So that's how I operated this on the layout. Could do with switching off those lights perhaps. While I'm here, this is my edit suite. It used to have on the old massive monitors. It's replaced now with a thinner one. It's 4x3 format though. And it dates from March 2003, a very old edit suite. And I haven't updated things as I've gone along, so I'm still using Adobe Premiere 6.5, which I actually first used in 1998, an earlier version of Premiere, of course. So I'll show you this computer. There's a laminator there and a printer I don't use anymore, a scanner, all the usual sort of ancillary items. And this is where I do my editing. And of course, I'm into sci-fi, so there's some sci-fi things around there for me. I've even got capture devices, DVD player, and VHS machines. That shows how old this equipment dates from. I like it though, and it's still functioning. While it's functioning, I carry on filming. And it does go wrong. This kit will cost around two and a half thousand, two thousand pounds to replace. 